What it do? Dream Team, it's your boy D. Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with 10 reasons not to ruin your life moving to Australia, to the great land down under. Let's hear these 10 reasons. Before we dot, jump in, make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we got? Do not move to mm. Australia. If you're thinking about moving to Australia, it could be one of the worst decisions of your life. G'day guys, my name's Ross, and really? I moved to Australia with my family more than three years ago, and I reckon I know a little bit about living in Australia. Tens of thousands of people move here every year, and they regret it. So in this video, I'm gonna share really? with you 10 reasons why you shouldn't move here. And you never know, it might just stop you from making the biggest mistake of your life. Don't move to Australia, because the cafe and breakfast culture really isn't there. You've been lied to. Really? Oh, Australia's got great coffee. Does it? What makes Australian coffee so great anyway? Do you know who tells you Australia's got great coffee? Australians. <laughs> and it's so expensive True. too. This coffee True. cost me less than $5 in a cafe. Like what are they gonna do? Wash the mug up for me afterwards. And do you know the worst thing about cafe and breakfast culture in Australia? Ooh. These little cafes and places that want your money, they're just everywhere. You can't get away from them. Sometimes in locations where you'd want something else to be there, like near the beach. Or in a shopping center. I can't understand that if you did want them, why can't they just put them in places that are a bit more convenient? I don't know why so many Australians just go to cafes, grab some food with their friends, socialize. You can do that at home, mate. Don't waste your time and effort. Don't move to Australia because you're gonna get taxed. I don't know if he's like being serious or he's just like, you know, he's like, he's like being sarcastic. I couldn't find the word I was looking for. Uh, I don't know if he's being serious or he's being sarcastic. It was hard for me to tell in that first reason. It was hard for me to tell. Because going to the cafe with your friends, chilling out, having a good... That seems fun. And he's like, who, who wants to do that? Like, you can do that at home. Why would you want to do that? The coffee is so expensive. This coffee cost me... Less than five dollars. Like it's ridiculous. <laughs> and so I'm just like, I think I think it's sarcasm. I think it's sarcasm. I could be wrong. We'll hear when I hear some more reasons, I definitely should know more. But uh I'll keep it going. It's too much. And you're gonna wonder what all of the tax is actually going towards. Keeping the country safe. <laughs> Crime occurs. Oh, okay. He is, okay, he's being completely sarcastic. I didn't know. After the first one, I got the, I was sensing sarcasm, but I ain't want to just say he was being sarcastic and just like, and be wrong about it. So, 100%, 10 reasons not to ruin your life in Australia. He's, he's, he's going to be sarcastic on each of them. Okay. This is actually it, going it. towards keeping the country safe. <laughs> Crime occurs here still. A half decent healthcare system. Well, the other day I was trying to book an appointment with a doctor that I'd seen before, and they didn't have an appointment at the exact time that I wanted. I had to get one like 20 minutes later. God forbid, I almost had to get one on the next day. I had to scroll down on the little appy thing. You know, when you look at the list of tax rates by country, Australia ranks really high at number 42. How dare they have such a high sales tax rate at 10%? We need it to be cheaper. There are so many better countries, like Honduras at number 68, or the Republic of Macedonia at number 95. They've also got a sales tax of 10%. What are you doing, Australia, to reduce your tax rate? You need to get us better than Rwanda at 97. If I was you, I'd move to a country with a lower tax rate, like the United States of America at number 53, because that seems like a safer country with a better healthcare system, and you can keep more of your hard-earned money for yourself. I made a big mistake. Don't move to Australia. Yeah, I had to do that. <laughs> you have to come out of America like that. You have to throw us on the list. You ain't, <laughs> you ain't have to put us in that sarcasm. You didn't have to do it. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> Keep it going. Australia, because there's loads of cheap Chinese cars. Everywhere you look, just cheap Chinese rip-offs. Makes you realize why they don't make any cars in Australia anymore. And they make them so cheap and affordable so that loads of people just buy them. And they fob you off with these extended seven-year warranties. <laughs> they make them so cheap and affordable 
So, so many people just buy them. In some cases. Well, do you know what's going to happen the day after the warranty runs out? It's probably going to break. I've heard loads of stories like they're going to rust or the engine's not going to be powerful enough. Or God forbid, the thing's just going to spontaneously combust. I haven't actually heard that, but I reckon it could probably still happen. Now, if you're thinking about moving to Australia like me and you've got a family and kids, don't move to Australia because you're going to have to use childcare and they make you pay for it. It's so expensive. And the Australian government tries to soften the amount for you by offering this thing called childcare subsidy, but they base it upon your income. And do you know what? If you earn over $530,000 as a family, they give you nothing. In fact, it goes down 1% for every $5,000 that you earn above $80,000. So if your combined family earns $200,000, which is more than double the average Australian wage, you'd still have to pay 44% of the overall cost for your kids childcare seems That's extortionate it, you want me to learn all that and still have to pay nearly half the childcare how am i going to afford <laughs> that i don't even earn that much but it's still you want me to earn all that and still have to pay nearly half the child hey, that yeah that's cheap that's <laughs> i love it y'all bring that here bring them taxes here dog i <laughs> <laughs> or that child care, I'd love to pay that. In America, it's much more expensive. I love this video. Because I because he makes a lot of videos like about Australia. And it, see, he's moving, been in Australia for three years with his family. So it's like, it's got to be a great place. He's got to absolutely love it. So what's this video about? And then he gets out here <laughs> being sarcastic with all these reasons. You got to absolutely love it. It angers me. I need child care because I got to work. You want me to stay at home and look after my kids? So entitled. Don't move to Australia because it's too far from all of the other countries. And instead, you'll have to visit Australia. And do you know one of the ways they make you do it? Camping. Traveling around Australia, pulling your little house behind you. Or God forbid, you're like a peasant in a tent. Who wants to see that much great outdoors anyway? And the worst bit about Australia is everyone's got a freaking camper van. It's almost like there's a thriving secondhand market for them. Did you know that some people even buy really? camper vans at the moment? and then sell them on a few years later for pretty much exactly the same price that they bought for them. Extortionate. How much joy can you get from a traveling box on wheels anyway? Did you know that some of these campsites as well have nothing on them? They're completely off grid. It's just like staying in a field. What is the attraction? And you're probably going to need your little traveling house on wheels because don't move to Australia because there's a housing crisis. If you're thinking of moving here, you're probably going to want to live in some of the most exclusive and popular suburbs like Bondi <laughs> and the surface paradise is pretty nice. Why don't you just go and live in Noosa? If you're having to uproot all of your life and move completely to the other side of the world, you deserve to live exactly where you want. You've already been flexible with how much you've given up and sacrificed to call Australia your home. <laughs> Not Jesus. Not Jesus, dog. But I have seen videos about the housing crisis. So it is only in certain areas like richer suburbs or, or su and such. Or is it like everywhere? You feel me? Y'all talk to me about the housing crisis in the comments section. Because I've seen videos where it's like the housing crisis is like pretty bad. Uh, and people are paying like extortionate rates to, to, to get in some of these places. But is that only in like the richer neighborhoods I guess? Or is it everywhere? Why should you have to compromise on your living situation? How dare hundreds of people want to live in the exact same place as you? It's ridiculous. What is the government going to do about it? Why should you have to compromise and live somewhere else? I know what you're thinking. You should probably even get priority over the people that already live there. Because if you can afford to pay the increasingly large rent, well then, you deserve it. And when you look at some of the most popular places in Australia, with some of the lowest vacancy rates, you'll see that they're all in WA. It's because all those people like me are wanting to move over there. I wouldn't want to live there. Bloody Perth. And when you do find a place that you can eventually call your home, don't move Move to Australia because Australian homes are basically shacks. Most of them aren't even strong enough to support another story. They're just like low hovels. And some of them even have metal roofs. 
What kind of peasant nation is this? What, so when it rains, you have to hear the rain? And most of the internal walls are basically paper thin anyway. Made of matchsticks inside. That's oh one of the God. only good things I think about living in Perth. Because at least most of those homes put metal in them. Paper thin walls, single glazing. It makes you question what year we're living in. And God forbid, like me, you ever actually managed to buy one. Where I used to live in the UK is pretty much a similar geographical distance to the centre of London. So living this uh -huh. far out from Brisbane city centre, just look at exactly what I could have got for my money in the UK. But in Australia, look at what you can get. Sure, they make it seem bigger <laughs> because apparently bigger is better. Yeah, the five bedroom, two bath, five car garage. Is that what that is saying? Oh, I thought I was saying a five car garage. I was about to say it's crazy. Uh, God dang, that is big, dog. Dang, he can. He do got two cars in the garage and then another two cars in the shed. Gee, then. This house is huge. My heavens, dog. My legit heavens, that's huge. How much is that? Better. What about the quality? Oh, we'll throw a little pool in the back garden. <laughs> If I wanted to, I could probably have got a pool in the UK. Like, they do exist, you know. How often are you even going to use that pool in Queensland anyway? Now, if I still haven't managed to have shown you the light and put you off moving to Australia, then the big kicker is going to be the fact that you are going to need a visa. They don't just let you live here, despite how terrible it is. Now, I don't want you to make any more mistakes. So before I moved here, the main reasons why I went with a visa agent, because if they're going to charge me a load of money, money for the visas anyway, then I might as well pay a little bit more. Because number one, True. there are so many forms. And do you know what the government does? If you get a little bit of it wrong or make a mistake, make they don't give over. you your money back. So as long as you use a Mara registered agent, you're pretty much guaranteed to get your visa. And if you're anything like me, you're incredibly impatient and you want it to happen yesterday. So by using a visa agent like True Blue Migration Services, they're gonna basically do all of the heavy lifting for you. I'd probably still be applying for a visa right now if I didn't use one. Because they make God, the whole dang. process go much faster than I ever could. And I know, I know, these visas, they bloody cost too much. It's almost like their costs need to be regulated by some kind of governing authority. But True Blue Migration's all right because they offer a payment plan. So it's almost Ooh. like you just pay for the agent as they do some of the next steps. And don't deal with uh. these ones that you basically never hear from them. Because True Blue Migration Services has got offices all over Australia. So pretty much whatever inquiries you might have, they're gonna get back to you straight away. It's almost like you might as well just mention us and use their free visa assessment. And God forbid they might actually be able to help you move to this country that isn't really that great. Now these are the most important. <laughs> Dang, I really love this video, dog. This is a great video. Johnston Life. Did a great job on this video. I'm absolutely rocking with it. You're convincing me that I, I shouldn't move to Australia. That Australia is the move. That Australia sounds, the way you make it, it sounds, you sound pretty phenomenal. The reasons why you shouldn't move here. And if you've made it this far, you're definitely gonna wanna hear these ones. Don't move to Australia because they do everything they can to stop you from getting a tan. They keep putting all these adverts out about slipping and slopping and slapping or whatever. So you get a bit paranoid about throwing some sun cream on. And when you go to the shops, every single sun cream that they have is like factor 50. And then when you wanna go out as well on the beach, they've got all these cool cabana things everywhere with these jazzy patterns just trying to make you buy one. And finally, when you do find a bit of space that isn't over crowded with them. It's like the local government have just put up their own shades everywhere. They even put them over the kids park. Oh, How wow. are my kids going to look their best? They're just going to look like Casper the Friendly Ghost's friend. Or <laughs> Carol and... I don't want that. Who wants that for their kid? Oh, stick a hat on. I've got a big head, mate. Hats just don't suit me. What's the point in moving to a country where they claim you've got this outdoor lifestyle and then they just make you cover up all the time so you might as well just be indoors? Seems like a waste of time. And it's not like you can you. even afford to stay indoors anyway. Don't move to Australia because the cost of living is extortionate. They have some of the highest household energy bills anywhere in the world. And it's not like you can just make your own energy now, is it? To offset some of these incredibly high costs. And to make it even worse, this country is basically run by two supermarkets. 
who just keep racking up the prices and you can never find any cheap food anywhere. Even if you wanted to support local green grocers or butchers, they put them in really inconvenient places. Oh like sometimes God. you might have to leave the main supermarket and then go somewhere else, like round the corner, <laughs> and then you have to buy your fruits and vegetables and stuff. <laughs> go somewhere else, like around the corner. <laughs> Up there. Why can't it all be in the same place, but also at a convenient price? It's so unfair. I remember in the UK, all of the butchers and the local greengrocers, they basically closed up and shut down their businesses because they oh, couldn't wow. afford it anymore. I was even surprised to see them in Australia and then with their cheap prices as well, trying to sucker you in. Now, nah, mate, just make it more convenient for me and then lower the price. I shouldn't have to choose to shop anywhere else. You should just bring it to me. I don't, who even has time to shop? anyway doesn't everyone just get their food delivered now oh or at my least God. direct to boot i just wish they could make it easy and convenient for me to shop and just have it cheaper as well is it too much to ask and the last most important reason don't move to australia because yeah i'm gonna say it everything will kill you especially spiders i walked my daughter to school the other day and they were everywhere just oh, lying Jesus. in wait ready to prey on some unsuspecting small child they need to have someone that will go around oh and God. bend them off. What happens if a small child walks into those bushes? What happens if spiders just, I mean, they're already working together in these webs. What, what yeah. if they just spread one across? You've heard all the stories about Australia trying to kill you. Last thing you need is one of these drop bear things, just getting involved on all the action. Or if you try to run away, I've heard these hoop snake things come at you as well. Is there anything in this country that won't kill you? Well, I hope that my knowledge has been able to put you off moving to Australia, and God forbid you might live a longer and happier life but if you haven't seen the light and you are really keen to see if you can't make it for yourself in australia then make sure you speak to our friends true blue migration and at least you might get some goodness out of this whole horrendous moving process don't say i didn't warn you and if you still want to learn what else you can do to make your life better in australia then check out this video i hope this was at least informative if not enjoyable because living here really isn't see ya I absolutely love that video. He did an incredible job in making that. Uh, that's all we got. Make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. Shoot what you do. Out.